Yo! In this video, I'll be giving you 10 basic fashion tips. Now, this video is mainly for people that are new to fashion, or of course, if you're already into fashion. If that's you, very cool. Now, the tips in this video are going to go from very basic and simple to slightly more complex and specific, but it's still gonna be very simple, even for you. The bottom line here is to just wear what you want. So fashion is subjective, it's supposed to be fun, so yeah, these are just my tips. Tip number one is to take care of your clothes. Now what I'm thinking about is how you wash your clothes. You know, temperature 30, 40, 60 degrees. You should wash your clothes separately, whites from colors, use the right laundry detergent. You should preferably air dryer clothes instead of machine dryer clothes. Also, for clothes to keep their shape, I recommend hanging them instead of folding them. Except knitwear. You don't hang knitwear. Tip number two is to know your body. Now, some people are tall, some people are short, fat, skinny, whatever. The important thing is to be aware of how your clothes is going to make your body look. Now, for a lot of shorter people, it's going to be beneficial to wear higher waisted trousers so their legs look longer and then their whole silhouette is going to look longer as well. But for me, on the other hand, I'm already pretty tall. So if I wear very high-waisted trousers, my legs are gonna look super long and I'm gonna look like a fucking stick bug. And of course, generally speaking, tighter fitting clothing is going to fit skinnier or athletic people better and looser fitting clothing is probably going to look better on bigger people. Also, keep in mind colors, such as the color gray. In summer, I can't really wear a gray t-shirt because I sweat a lot and it's gross. So, me, I'm not going to wear that. Now, tip number three is going to be using inspiration to find an aesthetic you like or a certain style. Now, for this, I recommend looking at Instagram, Pinterest, maybe even Reddit. Finding your style is not like an American high school where you're either part of the goths, the nerds, or the jocks, or the people that weren't really part of a group and were just by themselves. Now, you can look at different styles and pick what you like from each style. Some from workwear, some from smart casual, and some from hype beasts. And that way, you can just try to shape what your personal style is going to be like. Tip number four is going to be check your own wardrobe for old clothes instead of just buying new clothes. Like, you probably have some clothes that you still like, so you can use some of those, maybe sell some of your other clothes, and then start buying new clothes. So that way you will have a mix of some of your old clothes and just some new clothes. Now, tip number five is going to be quite similar to that, where you can ask around your friends and your family, ask what they have clothes that they don't use anymore, and you can take that. Maybe you have that one friend that dresses really nice, so you can just kill him off and take all his clothes. You can also take a look inside your parents' closet to see if they have something cool. Like this shirt I stole from my dad. And when he saw that, he said, give me that back or I'll beat the shit out of you, you fucking loser. And he did, but I kept the shirt. Tip number six is buying basic clothing. Now, you've probably heard this tip before, it's quite simple, and it's basically just that in the beginning, you should mostly buy basic white t-shirts like this and black t-shirts, and the same goes with hoodies and pants, just stick to the basics. Now, this is because basic colors just work with everything. So, a blue pair of jeans, for example, and a white t-shirt, it's going to work with a lot of different clothes. Now, the basic color rule goes for almost all different types of clothing, except for zip ties. Zip ties should almost always be red or blue. Tip number seven is just try to be cheap. Try not to spend too much money in the beginning, because your style is probably going to change rapidly. Now, most pieces like a basic pair of jeans or a white t-shirt, you can get pretty cheap. Now, the cheap rule is almost more important when it comes to experimenting. So imagine you put a lot of money into a basic piece like a pair of jeans. That pair of jeans is probably going to last a long time for you because it's a basic piece. Now, if you want to experiment with something crazier, 
And you should probably go visit maybe a thrift store where you can find some crazy pieces, but without paying too much. An example of paying too much for a loud piece is when you spend $300 on a Gosha hoodie and you wear it five times before you realize you don't like it and that the designer is a pedophile. What I just realized is that in tip number seven, I also kind of explained what was tip number eight. So I'll be going into tip number nine, which is accessories. Now accessories is something that you don't necessarily need to think a lot about in the beginning, but depending on the season, accessories can be really important. So for example, in winter time, gloves, hats, scarves is important to keep you warm, but also to look a certain way. Then if you're talking about summer, maybe jewelry becomes a bit more important. So stuff like rings, bracelets, necklaces, and maybe even a wallet chain can be important. So even if you're a beginner, you should keep accessories in mind. Tip number 10 is going to be to just have fun, take your time to find your style and just wear what you want. So for example, I used to dress like this and I thought I was a fucking fashion god. Maybe a bit naive, but at least I had fun. Thanks for watching.